In 1945, American troops stumbled upon an astonishing secret deep within the Merkers salt mine in central Germany, $238 million worth of gold. This discovery sparked a global obsession for the fabled Nazi gold, fueling treasure hunters who have scoured the world for these elusive treasures. From the mythical Nazi gold train to treacherous expeditions, the allure of Nazi gold has captivated both experts and amateurs alike. Now, a new cryptic treasure map has reignited the fervor, pointing to a potential trove buried near a Dutch village. Join us on an immersive journey as we explore the history and mystery surrounding Nazi gold. Uncover the secrets, sift through the legends, and join the relentless quest for truth and immeasurable wealth. Welcome to a world where myth and reality intertwine, waiting for discovery. The Search for Stolen Nazi Gold The quest to uncover the whereabouts of the missing Nazi gold has become a captivating pursuit. With billions of dollars worth of treasure still unaccounted for, individuals and organizations are determined to find any remaining traces of this stolen wealth. During their conquest of European countries, the Nazis carried out extensive looting of gold. They raided national holdings, seized valuables from private individuals, and even took gold jewelry from Holocaust victims. The true extent of Germany's wartime gold holdings remains unknown, but estimates suggest it could exceed $900 billion. Additionally, there was a significant amount of privately held gold that never appeared on official records. To access much needed war funds, the Nazis deposited a portion of the stolen gold in banks worldwide, notably in Switzerland. The conversion of Nazi gold into various currencies indirectly financed Germany's war efforts. However, these financial institutions have been reticent to disclose the origins of their gold holdings, keeping their involvement shrouded in secrecy. Towards the end of the war, an intriguing discovery emerged. Allied forces, led by Lieutenant General George Patton's Third Army, moved from Frankfurt into central Germany. As Allied forces advance into Nazi territory, they occupy the small town of Merkers, Germany. In April 1945, they stumbled upon the village of Merkers, where rumors circulated about gold hidden in a nearby salt mine. Initially dismissed as mere speculation, the stories caught the attention of Lieutenant Colonel William A. Russell, who saw potential merit in investigating further. Upon arriving at the mine site, Russell and his team gathered intel indicating the presence of both gold and valuable artwork. With cautious optimism, they descended 2,100 feet into the mine on April 7, 1945. Their search led them to a massive chamber concealed behind a brick wall with a bank vault door. What they discovered inside was astounding. The chamber held a vast treasure trove, including 7,000 bags of gold coins and bars, 55 boxes filled with gold bullion, numerous bags of various European currencies such as British pounds, French francs, and German rice marks, as well as a considerable amount of American dollar twenty gold coins. Additionally, they encountered 400 tons of stolen artwork, alongside thousands of boxes containing platinum bars and silver plates. Once the meticulous task of calculating the value was completed, it was estimated that the treasure was worth around $520 million at the time, equivalent to over $8 billion today. Yet, despite the significant amount recovered, it was evident that a considerable portion of the stolen gold remained unaccounted for. And so, the search for the lost gold began. The Hitler's grand plan for world domination hit a roadblock. Seeking refuge, he commanded Allied prisoners of war and forced laborers to construct intricate tunnels in Poland's Owl Mountains. This secret endeavor, known as Project Rees, resulted in the excavation of hundreds of miles of tunnels. While some sections remain accessible to this day, it is worth mentioning that many catacombs are either sealed off or submerged, leaving several hundred thousand feet unaccounted for. The purpose of these tunnels has been a subject of debate, but a fascinating legend has emerged surrounding a buried train filled with Nazi plunder. 
This tantalizing story has enticed numerous adventurers to embark on quests to discover the elusive ghost train. In 2015, a glimmer of hope emerged as ground-penetrating radar was employed to scientifically aid the search. Piotr Koper and Andreas Richter made a remarkable claim, announcing that they had pinpointed the train's location and were prepared to unearth it, requesting only 10% of its valuable contents as compensation. With a dedicated team of workers in tow, they initiated the excavation, capturing the attention of viewers through live-streamed television broadcasts. However, much like the infamous 1986 vault opening by Geraldo Rivera, believed to house the riches of Al Capone, this endeavor yielded no significant results. It turned out that the radar images had been misinterpreted, mistaking a natural rock formation for the fabled Nazi gold train. Our journey then takes us to Lake Toplitz in Austria, a potential alternative location for the hidden Nazi treasures. Historically, Nazi officers sought refuge within the Austrian Alps as Allied forces closed in on them. During this time, it is known that numerous metal boxes were discarded into the depths of Lake Toplitz, which plunges to a staggering depth of 350 feet in certain areas. These submerged containers remain a mystery, fueling various speculations. Some enthusiasts believe they hold gold pillaged by German troops across Europe, brought back to Germany as spoils of war. Others propose that the boxes may contain damning documents, revealing the concealed assets of Jewish victims within Swiss bank accounts. Notable discoveries have already been made, including a search funded by the German magazine Stern in 1959. Divers retrieved counterfeit British currency with a theoretical value of 72 million pounds, along with a printing press and counterfeit banknote plates. Unfortunately, other daring attempts to find the gold resulted in tragic drownings, leading the Austrian government to halt further explorations in 1963. Although the ban was eventually lifted, the elusive plunder has evaded discovery thus far. In 2000 and 2001, a team financed by the Columbia Broadcasting System used a mini-submarine to delve into the lake's depths, only to find additional counterfeit banknotes and a whimsical box filled with beer bottle caps left by a mischievous prankster. These tales of mystery and lost treasures continue to captivate our imaginations, as we wonder if the Owl Mountain Train or the hidden wealth of Lake Toplitz will ever be revealed to the world. Where is the gold? Mary Fulbrook, a professor of German history at University College London, sheds light on the lingering mystery of Nazi treasure that remains unfound. Though there are numerous theories about its whereabouts, one thing is clear. Countless war criminals managed to evade justice. Could they have been financially supported by the hidden loot? Perhaps the stolen gold was used to facilitate new identities and secure living arrangements for these mass murderers. As the war approached its end, what became of the bullion? Did it find its way into foreign banks, like those in neighboring Switzerland? Or did diehard members of the SS hide it, hoping to finance a resurgence of their twisted ideology at a later time? If so, why didn't they fully deplete the resources in the Merkers mine? It's possible that the rapid advance of the Allied forces caught them off guard, leaving them with insufficient time to relocate their vast wealth. Considering the cunning nature of these villainous individuals who managed to escape punishment for their heinous crimes, is it not plausible that they successfully concealed their ill-gotten gains from their adversaries? Perhaps they were clever enough to stash their loot beyond the reach of justice. The mystery of the missing Nazi gold continues to intrigue historians and treasure hunters alike. Only time will reveal the truth and unmask the intricate web of deceit that has kept the whereabouts of this gold concealed for so long.